technology that preserves large amounts of snow even through the hot summer season. Now, the idea is to find a way to make ski resort openings more consistent each year. And with Snow Secure's pilot test program, they've said, listen, this has been a huge win. And this actually might be the solution to some of those problems, right? So here to discuss the project is Nate Shake, Director of Mountain Operations at Bogus Basin. Nate, thanks so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. And tell me how you came up with this idea and this technology. And for folks that are not as familiar, tell us exactly what this technology is and how it works. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Absolutely. Uh, it's, a, it's a great story how we came across this technology. And uh, actually, you know, thanks to the wonders of the, of the internet, uh, my boss, our general manager, sent a picture of a snow storage in Finland and said, hey, check this out. This is pretty cool and kind of challenged us to investigate it. So we started looking at uh, snow storage, snow farming uh, projects, and they've been doing this in Europe. They've been doing it on the glaciers with geotechnical fabric uh, for quite some time. And, uh, you know, through uh, looking on the Internet and everything from covering snow with three feet of sawdust and and wood chips to giant blankets uh, we came across the snow secure technology and uh, set up a zoom call um, with the folks in Finland and they were very enthusiastic showed us the system uh, it's a it's a very uh, well put together system it's insulated panels that uh, cover the snow and uh, you know we said hey we're interested what can we do and they said, well, we have a pilot program and this is, we have one left and it is actually on its way to the States and there's three, three areas interested in it. So, uh, you know, we, uh, mm -hmm. we raised our hands said we wanted it and, uh, shipped it to Boise. So, uh, it's, you know, it's a, it's a pile of snow basically covered with insulated tarps and it, it saved through the, through the entire summer. And so when did you guys test it? To me, this is just fascinating. So basically, just so folks at home understand, is you put, it was almost like a blanket sort of technology, if you will, to cover the snow and preserve the snow and keep it cold all summer long. And is this, is this natural snow that you guys covered or is this man-made snow? So it was a combination of, of both uh man-made snow and and natural snow we started blowing snow when we started talking about the snow storage we said well we need to make a pile of snow so we we blew a giant pile of snow in a spot that we don't really ski on and everybody's going what's this for and we didn't know at that time we were even going to do snow secure so we just called it project x and we just we just made a lot of snow so in um at the beginning of May, we actually skied till May 3rd last year. Uh, the beginning of May, we pushed all that snow into a pile, man-made, natural. And we had about 30 acre feet of, or 10 acre feet of snow. That's an acre foot of a, a foot of snow, an acre covering an acre in this pile. And, uh, you know, then we covered it with the sections of, of, of insulated tarps. Interesting. And it, it saved it through the summer. So say you saved it through the summer. So is the idea to cover like mountains with this material eventually, or, or what's like the long-term view of this? What, what do you want this project to look like, you know, next year, five years from now? So um, yes, uh, that's exactly right. So ideally the next phase of this project will be to open an entire chairlift with the with the uh, snow secure technology, so it's it's scalable. We can we can store as much as as we want. So we're gonna hopefully next season we store enough to open our beginner chair. We call it the coach chairlift, and uh, you can see the pile there on the coach run won't cover the whole run. Um, but this was a test project. Next year we want to store almost 50 acre feet of snow to end up with. Uh, enough snow to cover 10 acres three feet deep nice. and that would give us the ability to open say in mid-november um and yeah. and start skiing right away and, and so uh, kind of determine our fate 
Nate, last question. How is the snow? So, you know, is it is it a good skiable sledding sort of snow once you guys uncovered it? Yeah, it's it's uh it's actually very dense snow, so very similar to man-made snow. It's about 60% water. Um, and it is it's dense skiable snow, and that's that's exactly mm -hmm. what we want to make the base of our ski run. And it's you know, an outer shell of ice over the top of the pile. But once we start pushing it out, it's uh, it's white, uh, maybe not so fluffy winter snow, but it's white, uh, white snow. Nate, I love what you guys are doing here, preserving the snow. Nate Shake, Director of Mountain Operations at Bogus Basin. Thank you so much for sharing your insight with us and happy skiing and sledding to you in the this upcoming winter season. Thank you guys. Hope you hear some... Good news about snowfall to come. <laughs> we will do our best. Fingers crossed for you. Nate, thanks again for, for uh, hanging out with us. We appreciate it.